The Motive of Authority in Religion, A Discussion Amongst Christian Friends By Jesus and Andy, et al. Copyright 2024 The motive of authority in religion or science hierarchies is to maintain ignorance among the people in order to limit questioning minds. Dan Roberts Maybe in certain circles but not all. Andy Dan I believe that all tend this way, Dan. Even the children of Israel. Even the founding of this nation. Even the LDS Church. Hierarchies are not good for humans. That's why we are supposed to give control and authority to God. I believe the difference between Zion and Babylon is even a finger of control. That said, thank you for sharing your best guesses, beliefs. I love it. I'm grateful for your friendship. Dan. Andy Groft I just find this to be too, convenient, anarchical, random, chaotic, unordered. I get entropy but, you're saying every man for himself gospel? No general interpretation of scripture? So what about those who never knew him yet cast out devils and did miracles and other wonderful works in his name and were commanded to depart from him? This principle you're touting just seems like the abandonment of man by God good luck kids, I'll give you these instruction manuals that will be manipulated and interpreted thousands of different ways yet I claim there is only one way, one Lord one faith one baptism. I just don't buy it man. Andy. Dan if we ever have a chance to speak in person and have a long format conversation about this, maybe we could learn more about what each other believes. The LDS Church chose hierarchy and corporation after Joseph Smith was killed. It doesn't mean they are evil. They are God's wayward church. They still have not established Zion. And this is the reason. In the Republic of Heaven communities decide by consent. All four kingdoms of Christianity failed to establish Zion. A redemption is coming. James Seamus Santiago Dan Roberts, no, Andy's right, and the LDS Church is the prime example, well, as are political entities as well. So very true, Andy. Andy. James, unfortunately. But God has a method of governance that doesn't require control wielded by men, if we will choose it. He has a method of community taxation, by interest tithes and community treasuries, that doesn't destroy the community, but builds it up. We are blinded in guilt by traditions, so it is easier to dismiss than to understand. The Iron Kingdom of Christianity, LDS, were taught that once we are righteous we can enter Zion, but this is false. Righteousness flourishes when we organize in heaven's way. This is the hidden message of Daniel, 9,24-27, and all the holy prophets. I believe, sacred guess, that this is the apocalypse, unveiling, that brings the equal and opposite darkness we are experiencing today. The sooner we see this, and choose without authority's compulsion, the sooner Jesus will come. Authority was not what they supposed, because authority for man is the responsibility to Zion. Folded hands red heart thumbs up smiling face with smiling eyes. Willard Lewis Snow It's follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet, follow the prophet, don't go your own way. Q. Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks John Pulver Throw out all notions of order and you get chaos. Read that next paragraph that I sent to get more of an idea of what I am saying. Read the first chapter of Kirk's The Roots of American Order and apply the concepts there to the kingdom of God. Try to discover where leadership will manifest itself within your common consent model. If you rebel against someone you perceive as lording over you in a higher position and telling you what to do in your present life, it won't be much different when Jesus reigns over you in the millennium because this is not an issue of authority or hierarchy but rather one of obedience to something beyond your own conclusions or your own ignorant perceptions, or your dog determination to do things your own way come hell or high water. This is about humility and to being subject to righteous leadership, which leadership needs to be also mortal to give God's creations a chance to practice leadership principles they will need in their future eternal progression. There is a trend which I saw with my college students when teaching that is against organized religion, and any sense of someone being in charge of anything to do with your life, as though rejecting mentorship is somehow virtuous. Jesus said those who receive his servants, receive him. Meaning he would have servants, delegated individuals. I'm not making this up, he said it. He said that for some aspects of order there would be a chain coming from him. The serious question is this, most of the time if you don't like authority it is because you got your feelings hurt, your pride challenged, or you were brought up short for something and you didn't like the result. Think about it. Your opinions are based upon your own experiences or lack thereof and also emotions you have felt, which you can sometimes back up with cognitive conclusions. Andy. John this is what happens when we are raised in Babylon, John. We can't fathom any other order than one of hierarchy and control. Intimidation even in the best systems. Communities of common consent is not chaos. It is a republic of heaven that levels society and binds darkness. You and others have a testimony of the truthfulness of the gospel, which is great. But you forget that a redemption is coming. And it's hard to believe that even the LDS kingdom of Christianity failed to establish Zion. John, even Russell Kirk was raised in Babylon. Leaders in Zion do not take charge, they take responsibility. 
They are not chosen by majority rules, but by common consent. They do not meet in their councils to dictate God's voice. That's the lower law, that is the law and the prophets. Leaders in Zion help their community achieve consent. You know I've read the founders. You know I've read Kirk. It's now yours to try to discover. Love you gesture smiling face with smiling eyes read 2 Nephi as if it was a message to the LDS first, and the other three kingdoms of Christianity second. What did Enoch's city have that we don't? Those people made a simple change in order. They made Jesus their king, and the method of delegation, community common consent. This is how they saw God's face and knew his will for them. This is how they stopped secret combinations. This is how they established righteousness, and anointed the most holy. How else does DNC 1 come to pass? Try it. Read 2 Nephi not thinking, yeah, the other churches need to listen to this, but that your church, your generation needs it. I am not pointing out a speck or moat, I am a sinner, too. But the sin that keeps us from heaven, and the sin that bears wild fruit, is the justification of even a finger of control. I believe, guess, that the Lord wants to redeem all four kingdoms of Christianity, but no hierarchy will let him. The angels want to mingle among us, but we prefer our traditions of man's order, and feel sacrilegious to consider anything outside our tradition. I really appreciate you for chiming in. I appreciate Dan and others who consider, and care enough to read, and even respond. Thank you for your love and friendship. Let's keep an open mind and heart as this unveiling continues among us. We are in the last 30-year week of Christianity. Stay in your church and stand for Jesus' original proposition, that despite the insistence of Satan, Jesus can save us without control. Folded hands love you gesture smiling face with smiling eyes. The question was raised earlier, who will interpret scripture? But there's no need to interpret scripture now. They all say the same thing. We have all fallen short. We must build Zion without control. Then the Lord will pour out even greater scripture to babes and handmaids. I actually stayed at Russell Kirk's Macosta, Michigan home for a week. Beaming face with smiling eyes winking face it was a really cool experience that Jesus let me have when I was an undergrad in college. Loris Williamson John Pulver Jesus doesn't aim to reign over anyone. He lived with people he taught, washed their feet, etc. It's a false assumption, and purposely taught, that anyone who has concluded authority is counterproductive or doesn't like it to be challenged had their feelings or pride hurt. That's exactly the case in point. Push the critical thinker back down because they must listen to me. True spirituality doesn't need a middleman. And truth doesn't mind being questioned. It stands up to the test. Joni Beals Not all authority. How many times does Jesus claim the authority of our Father? As does Satan. While the structure, church government, which is what I believe, you are referring to, may be decentralized, consent-based, D&C 121, the authority can only be given by one who has it. By authority, I mean, priesthoods, of course. Slightly smiling face. Andy Groft 100% agree that priesthood in Zion are not force-based, as D&C 121 says. And all men are imperfect and fallible, so Brigham and Joseph had blind spots. And there is a borderline idol worship in LDS culture. Yet, I also believe the priesthood line Joseph restored is God's authority on this earth. It seems you feel Brigham lost the priesthood authority along the way? I disagree on this point, if I'm understanding you correctly. So where would one find the authority of the priesthood if Brigham lost it? Have you found another line of authority going to Joseph? Andy. Joni thank you Joni. That is so true. I like thinking of it like this. It is not authority as we supposed. Even Joseph said this. Authority is a responsibility to Zion, not an administrative power. Joseph was trying to share the same message, and Brigham Young just did not understand. He was steeped in the Protestant tradition and he quickly altered the trajectory of Zion in the 62nd week of Christianity, as prophesied. This is not an invective against Brigham. He was a human just like us. But I do believe this is the reason all of Christianity, even the LDS, stands in need of redemption, we misunderstand. We missed the mark. God is the author. Man's authority is a responsibility to God's government and economy. The authority for one man to rule over another is justified in Babylon by saying that chaos would ensue otherwise. Zion is order without control or intimidation. Zion keeps man from getting status sickness. It equalizes us instead of turning our leaders into idols. It turns men's desire for acceptance to Jesus, and not to a man or to a group of men. We misunderstand authority because the changes, the falling away, happened in the same week that the restoration occurred. The Iron Kingdom of Christianity, LDS, is not alone in this man-made mistake or tendency. The Gold Kingdom that Paul was a part of lost it. The Silver Kingdom of Roman Christianity, lost it. The Bronze Kingdom of Protestant Christianity lost it. Because they continually establish hierarchies instead of a heavenly republic. 
I hope that slowly and over time we can continue this discussion. Thinking about what each other says and re-engaging periodically. We love the good things that Brigham Young did, and so we do not want to blaspheme his name. But Brigham made the same mistake as the other kingdoms of Christianity. The restoration and the trampling of the holy city occurred in the same 62nd week. This was the abomination that began the desolation from 1844 to 2054, 1260 days, seven half times or seven weeks. The lower law and the prophets is God speaking to a prophet, who then speaks to the people. The higher law is God speaking to each individual, and teaching them to discern between him and their ego by requiring community discussion and consent. 2 Nephi 28 is speaking directly to the LDS. That's my guess, belief. There is no line of Joseph authority. Joseph is the prophet of the last dispensation. In Zion, we are all to be prophets and seers. Brigham Young changed that. Willard. Joni Beals Brigham in my opinion is a shadowy dark figure. His zeal got the church to the Salt Lake Valley but what would have been if Joseph had lead the saints to the valley? Joni, Andy I agree we are all to be prophets and seers, yet I believe priesthood power can only be given by one who already has it, and is necessary to becoming a prophet and seer. Like how Abraham sought it out, the blessings of the priesthood isn't a hierarchy to be only given to one, but to any who seek it. To me, receiving priesthood ordination and ordinances are a key part of Heavenly Father's plan and necessary to enter into His presence. Andy. Joni yes, and you are still speaking of the old law. The lower law. The law that Brigham reinstituted after Joseph died. In the higher law, the priesthood authority or responsibility to Zion is given by Jesus Christ Himself. Thank you for engaging with me, Joni. I look forward to a time when we can sit and talk for an extended period and share insights and understanding. Gary Arnell. Andy, how do we get there from here? Andy, Gary stay in your church and stand for Zion. Stand for organization without control and intimidation. Stand for autonomous community treasuries and interest tithes. Soon we will see that hierarchies always degrade into hell and burning. Even the best ones. Maybe then we will be open to God's government. I love the LDS church. I love the US constitution. I am grateful for every good institution and every good person who strives to stand for liberty and beauty. I don't pretend to be sinless. But I believe that the bigger sin is that we try to bring forth fruit that is bitter, and the bitterness comes from even a small amount of control. Even the founders knew that what they gave us was a stepping stone. Scott Patterson Andy Groff not to cause a stir, but heaven, as described in the scriptures at least, is not a republic. Andy Scott Patterson thank you for chiming in, Scott. Loving, humble and patient discussion is key. Thumbs up thumbs up smiling face with smiling eyes. I disagree, Scott. Search without the trappings of tradition and you may see that Zion is a republic of heaven. King Jesus rules, but without entourage and hierarchy. It is a heavenly republic of communities of common consent, not communities who dutifully raise their hands to the decisions of a central authority other than God himself. How can DNC1 come about without this? Hierarchies of men always, always create idolatry to authority and tradition. They cause men to take counsel from men instead of approaching God through the Holy Ghost directly, and then testing their understanding through community discussion. Question but how will we know God's will without the law and the prophets as in the time of Moses? Won't every man go his own way and chaos ensue? Hey, we will know his will through the Holy Ghost, and through unintimidated discussion and eventual and ongoing community consent. We will choose community representatives by 100% unanimous consent. And send them to regional councils to achieve consent amongst themselves before coming back to the communities for 100% community ratification. Any other way leads to the centralization of authority and to the idolizing of our leaders. And we will tie the annual net worth, interest, which will be put into a community treasury and dispersed in the community by consent not by the dictates of central authority. DNC 119 requires an interest tithe, but five weeks after Joseph was killed this was changed to an income tithe and a central treasury, which is the hallmark of Babylon's economy. The interest tithes in community treasury was changed five weeks after Joseph was killed, History of the Church, Vol. 7 page 251. This is a true republic. And it is the way angels are organized. This my best and most sacred guess, belief. Thumbs up smiling face with smiling eyes folded hands red heart. Scott. Andy Groff denonition of a republic. A republic is a country where power is held by the people or the representatives that they elect. Republics have presidents who are elected, rather than kings or queens. Andy. Scott Patterson a republic is a rex publica where every man is a king and every woman a queen. These communities of kings follow no man but King Jesus. Smiling face with smiling eyes folded hands folded hands raising hands raising hands. 